really here from? Your past is a gift. So we've kind of gone off the path of the bully, but addressing another topic which is very similar because I've always advocated that a bully comes from a bully. Okay, these, these are learned behaviors. We learn them from the grown-ups around us. You don't just wake up one day and go, oh God, I'm so bored, what can I do? I'm just gonna go pick on that person because I've got nothing better to do with my time. You just don't wake up that way. It's something that has been learnt from your environment, from your surroundings, from the people around you. So, you know, watching this documentary is what we're talking about, The Leaving Neverland. It took quite a few days of discussions with my husband and all these things I kept saying to him like, you know, so many times Michael Jackson has mentioned that he didn't have a childhood. Nobody read into that. You know, we all assumed that, well, it was because he was working so hard to creating music, you know, and, and creating this career that took off, you know, so from him being so young, he had such a huge talent. We assumed that that's what he meant when he said, I didn't have a childhood, you know? For me, like I was saying to my husband, who goes to the lengths of completely transforming what they look like? It's almost as though they can't stand their own image. Not only that they want to look like something else, you know, because usually when we want to look like something else, it's someone else. But he chose a completely fictitious character, something that isn't real at all, it doesn't exist. Because if you look at the pictures of Peter Pan and you look at his nose and the way he was making his eyes bigger and even to the point of trying to change the colour of his skin to white, everything was pointing to he wanted to be a real life Peter Pan. The character that doesn't exist, it's fictitious. And when you really, really think about it, it's because you can't stand the image that you're looking at in the mirror. You would not need to change anything if you were happy with who you are, with there's nothing wrong with you. You're happy with, you know, genius or not, because so many people call him a musical genius and all this. You know, Einstein didn't go to any lengths of changing his image. You know, all the other great geniuses that have been. <laughs> Just because you got this mega talent doesn't mean, you know, that you have to be eccentric in every single way to stand out from the rest. No, there was something there, this need to change his image so much so that he no longer looked like that little boy. Because even with all the conversations I've had with my husband, at the end, I said to him, how can you tell me that this is not a learned behavior? Who wakes up as an adult and decides Oh, you know, today I'm going to destroy a child's childhood. I'm going to totally take away their self-image, totally take away their innocence, totally take away everything that comes with being a child by doing these things, by sexually molesting a child, which is an adult thing. <laughs> it's got... A child would never think of doing these things on their own. You know, a seven-year-old boy, an eight-year-old girl, yeah, as children we explore our bodies. We do. I'm not saying that we don't. You know, and that things feel a certain way if we play with them. But from there to want to, you know, have complete social, you know, sexual interaction with another being, you know, to explore it further as a child, it doesn't cross your mind to do that. You like to explore it for yourself, well, that's fine. You know? But to be shown all these things by an adult before it's your time to even be an adult. You know, in my heart, I truly believe that these things are passed down. They've been learnt from a previous generation. That's been learnt from a previous generation. And it goes back and back and back. You know, priests, when we look at priests in the church, you know, and they're all on the news now because oh, of all the sexual, you know, things that they've done to children. These things have been done to them and to the ones before them and to the ones before them. They didn't wake up one morning and go, you know, I'm so bored with my life. What can I do for a little excitement? 
doesn't work that way. These people have already been through it as children. And as I said before, many, many times in previous videos, you can yourself as an adult one day wake up and go, I could never do that to someone else. I know what that feels like. I know how that made me feel. I can't do that to someone else. And that's where the cycle of abuse stops in its tracks. But not everybody wakes up to that realization that it didn't feel good, it wasn't nice, I didn't enjoy it, you know? So I'm not gonna do that to someone else. I'm not gonna make someone else feel that way. So, you know, I witnessed it with my dad, with his severe beatings that he used to get as a child, as punishment, if he did anything wrong, you know, out of line, or that he wasn't allowed to do. But he never once raised his hand to me to hit me, to strike me, to... I never had an unkind word from my dad. He never yelled at me. Because he knew what it felt like. He knew how it makes you feel to be treated that way. And that's a small thing compared to being sexually molested, you know? Or all the other things that kids go through. Beatings is a small thing, but still, in your head it's a big thing when you're the one that's having to go through it. You know, to you, it's massive. Every time you have to get that beating. It's awful how it makes you feel inside. Like you have no say, you have no power. This big grown up is coming along to take away from you. Each time something like that happens, they're taking away from you. Whether it's from a beating that you're getting, whether it's from being sexually molested, whether it's from being yelled at, all of those things. They take away from you. You feel powerless against this huge person that is standing in front of you. All right, so I want you to think about all those things rather than just label it like, oh, he was a monster. He did these things. He uh, manipulated or he, you know, used his fame and he used his wealth to do all these things. But we need to look at why? Why did he have that need? Where did that need come from? These are learned behaviors. We learn how to express love. We learn how to express anger. We learn. You know, so many videos of mine say you're not born a bully. You're not born a racist. You're not born a pedophile. These things are things that we learn from the grown-ups around us. When we understand that, can we start to heal it? Because it's not just him. If we're talking one in six boys, there are thousands and thousands of people that think as adults that this is the way to express love to a child. Think about it. This is the way they've been taught and this is the way they go into the world to keep expressing their love in this way. All right, my darlings, I love you guys. Remember to click like and subscribe below so you don't miss any of the messages and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.